Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, um, it is currently Sunday, um, I don't know the exact date, June, July 29th or something like that, but um, we're starting the week out fresh. I kind of start mine on Sundays, but today's um, Sundays I basically just kind of clean up my place, um, kind of take care of some things, and Sundays are kind of my days I've designated to um, sending out emails. So if you guys, obviously if you've joined the Facebook group, you guys know um, I asked for your email and what I've been collecting. I've been collecting those over um, over the kind of the period of a couple months now, and I'm basically just starting email marketing campaigns. So um, if you guys are getting emails from me, that is like literally from me. I'm typing them all out. Um, it's custom to like um, to you guys and it's only phone people that are interested in phone flipping that's why I asked for that email so if you guys are getting that email uh, I basically just kind of release those um, emails once a week on Sunday just kind of letting you know what's been happening what's gonna be happening for the next week any deals that are going on with my course and stuff like that uh, and just kind of like I, one thing I do is I upload, like I link one of my past YouTube videos in there. So, because I know a lot of you guys aren't actively on YouTube. So, um, if you end up watching this video and you haven't watched other ones, that's why I link it in there. Um, you might be getting to this video because it was in email and stuff like that. So, just know uh, I'm not here to spam you guys or anything like that. But to, just another way for me to like kind of communicate with you guys and create that relationship. So, um, I currently have about 300 people on that list right now, slowly growing. Um, it's fun. Like it, it is, the email list is always supposed to be less um, than anything else, but it is a very powerful marketing tool um, for me. But it's, for me, it's just one of those things where I use it to um, kind of relate because I do get a bunch of emails back. If you guys just simply reply to that email, you'll you'll reach me personally, and I'm basically the only one that does it. So you're you're hitting me personally, um, and I can always answer your questions if you guys have anything. Like this week, um, I just let everybody know that my course um, is about to run out. I as if you guys don't know at a thousand subs I am uh, actually taking away the 297 price so it's going to be the full 497 price which I do think is the true value of the course but uh, since it's on pre-order and I haven't released all the content I've released some of the the basic things like the bill of sale um, the actual pictures and one thing I am going to be uploading in there is actually an Excel file uh, or basically template that I use to track all my profits so um, like it'll tell you like which model like you can put in which model condition where you bought it at where you sold it at um, and then it'll take in consideration different fees like eBay fee PayPal fee and like shipping um, it'll t it'll already like the algorithms in the Excel document will already tell you uh, what your exact profit is and then you can put in like the IMEI number and any other notes so it is super helpful for me that is how I track all my profits and soon I'm going to be kind of transferring all those into QuickBooks now just easier for tax purposes and my LLC see so um, that's pretty much it for this morning and actually um, I have a bunch of cool stuff happening this week for me and I'll update you guys as we go through the through the week but um, I for now I am simply going to um, just kind of take answer anybody's emails I respond I have to respond to a bunch of YouTube comments I'm at 912 subscribers so you guys are actually insane like I, thinking back to when I was actually at like five ten subscribers how one subscriber really meant a thing to me that hasn't changed like every single one I get super hyped about like I refresh my page probably a hundred times a day just because I like to see the community grow and if they that even transfers into the Facebook group, I can see somebody subscribed to the channel, joined the Facebook group, left their email. It is literally the perfect situation, and I feel like the happiest man. So with that said, I'm going to go answer those questions, uh, and I'll update you guys in the next clip. Hey, what is up, guys? So it is currently 10:14 right now, um, and I actually just ended up listing two items on uh, Mercari. Let me show you here. Um, I ended up listing an iPhone 8 Plus, uh, 64 gigabyte Sprint, uh, financed, and then an iPhone 8, 64 gigabyte Sprint, financed as well. Um, and I literally listed them, and it was about 15 minutes ago I listed them. A guy reached out, he, I let him know, he's, he counter-offered. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up making $150 on two of those combined. So basically a $70, $75 profit on each of them, um, which is super good. I'm super excited about that because I've been holding on to that inventory for a while. As you, as you guys know, eBay... Um, 
kind of restricted my account for a little while on those selling bad ESN and I do have an update on that on that for you guys so I'll let you guys know that at the end of the video because I just want to um, figure out all the details and I don't want to tell you guys false information so I do want to do a little bit more research on that so stick around for that at the end of the video because I know you a lot of you guys are waiting for that information but literally they um, they already sold those items on Mercari I, I probably should have said that before but they literally already sold then I ended up listing the eight First, the guy was super nice, made a counter offer, I was willing to accept. Uh, I never accepted yet, and he saw me that I posted the other one. He's like, you want to do a bundle offer? So he ended up, um, we, ended up we ended up just working out where it ended up being $550 for the both of them. Um, and so I just ended up doing two different transactions. He said to do one, but I figured why not get two reviews out of it? Because um, this guy has 131 great reviews or positive five-star reviews. Um, just a college kid, so he's a super nice guy. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end up shipping those out tomorrow. So in total, I have three phones to ship out. Two of those going to that same guy, um, and then the one going to the private buyer. Um, so I'm gonna be shipping those out tomorrow morning. So I just really wanted to update you guys on that information. Hey, what is up, guys? So it is about six o'clock right now. Just kind of finishing up the day, but to kind of update you um, what exactly happened today, I ended up selling three phones on Mercari. All of them were Sprint, all were bad ESN because, um, I mean, I looked, I just actually ended up looking just to see if they had a bad ESN already. Um, I and my eyes were clean, but obviously it was SIM locked because they weren't paid off, all by Sprint, and they were all actually by different, buy, uh, different sellers to me, but um, I ended up selling all three of them on Mercari. They're pretty good. I ended up overall about I think it was about a $300 profit total because the last one was about $150 alone profit on that and then um, the other two combined were $150 profit. So I'm um, pretty excited about that. Now I have four phones to ship out tomorrow. All flat, flat rates priority. And if you guys are interested on selling Mercari, um, definitely go give it a try. I think the platform, obviously I'm not an experienced user, but um, for my sake, like I have, um, based on kind of the things that have been happening happening on eBay I've been trying to sell a lot on Mercari um, and literally my listings are going like crazy like it like this and uh, this last one ended up taking just a couple hours to sell uh, which is honestly sometimes even faster than eBay and uh, I was looking at my actual ads I'll probably put up a screenshot here um, of a couple of them just showing you the amount of traction they were getting just based on number of views and stuff like that um, and I mean Mercari has this feature where people can like your post and I think I, in about two hours it had like 50 likes on the damn thing so um, definitely something that I think you got I might talk about more and it's definitely a platform I'm gonna be using a lot in the future so definitely look out for that um, definitely videos coming on that as well uh, just kind of strategies to use Mercari um, and honestly I, I didn't have any problems listing them even though they were bad ESN plenty of other people had them I saw iCloud locked being sold on there uh, I haven't really seen anything bad happening so um, definitely it, it obviously is probably a lot harder there's obviously less users on there compared to eBay and eBay is kind of like the number one overarching kind of platform but for some of us that might not be able to sell on eBay or just have restrictions or whatever it may be just looking to kind of diversify the platform because I think that is important the phone the flipping industry you want to sell locally you want to sell on online platforms um, you just kind of have to really kind of mix it up because you want um, like for me I would want to have several Several good reviews on several different sites. Um, like if I have a hundred good reviews on eBay and a hundred good re reviews on Mercari and a hundred good reviews on OfferUp, I have all three platforms to potentially buy and sell from. So I was actually looking at one thing on Mercari, potentially buying phones, because some people um, actually sell bad ESN um, phones really cheap on there and I was looking at them and they ended up selling super quick um, so maybe I'll start to go on there a little bit more see if anything had been posted within the five minute range and see if one I can cop um, an actual deal and then it would just be a flip from there so I just they would ship it to me I'd buy it on the Mercari and then I would just maybe resell to my private buyer or go, go ahead and re and like flip on Mercari itself so definitely something I want to talk about in the future with you guys uh, I haven't talked about it much on the channel channel and a lot of you guys have asked about it so if you have any other questions hopefully I can answer them leave a comments in the comment section down below um, I'll try to answer them as best as I possible about Mercari so for the rest of the night uh, I am 
am going to be talking about that eBay thing, what kind of happened with it. Um, so kind of stick around for that. Hey, what is up guys? So it is currently about 9.45 right now. I'm about to edit the video, but obviously if you made it to the end of the, this part, or basically this, this part of the video, you're obviously interested in learning about what happened to my eBay account. So um, it has honestly been about two weeks, like I think about two weeks, uh, around that, it should be probably a couple days here, it should be two weeks since I actually got the email saying that I had an account um, kind of limitation on eBay. So um, there's a couple things I wanted to talk about and I want to be as transparent as possible with you guys. So uh, if you guys are watching this, I appreciate it and uh, I'm just going to kind of say it, but my basically my eBay account is in a sense permanently restricted. So uh, there is some things I'm still working out with eBay and it's just really frustrating because every response from eBay is like so short and like so like doesn't get you anywhere. So I have to ask questions all the time and each question um, in a sense like I kind of in a sense have to ask it in every single email by itself. So each response gets like two, three days in between. So that's why it takes so long and it's super frustrating. I understand eBay goes through thousands of these cases all the time, but obviously you guys know I've been really increasing my sales on the eBay platform. So eBay had ended up just kind of reaching out um, and well, they didn't even reach out. They just basically put a hold on my account, wanting to verify where I was getting these phones from. And what they required was my driver's license, uh, my, like, a, like my bank statement and like a receipt from a manufacturer or something like that and or, or an invoice and I was I told them I uploaded like my e like my actual LLC documents I uploaded my driver's license I uploaded bank statements and I literally wrote out and like in a huge paragraph letting them know my exact situation and they literally told me that um, I, I honestly just can't sell bad ESN on phones on eBay anymore so um, that, that's perfectly fine I, that is where my platform um, that is on. That's where I ended up selling all my bad ESN phones. Uh, but from their eyes, I'll, I'll read you guys the email here. So we appreciate your efforts to provide all the documentation documentation we previously requested to verify your account. Unfortunately, getting the items for Craigslist, they have bad ESNs. Legally, we cannot allow those site on the site. The issue is that we ultimately don't know if they had bad ESNs due to being stolen or not. As a seller, you're ultimately responsible for the legality of an item you offer uh, for sale on eBay. If you'd like to continue your eBay business, please provide documents showing you have a different supplier that is authorized to sell those, those items, or you can agree to list other items on your account will be placing a category block on your smartphones. So that was a couple days ago, and that email I ended up responding, can I still sell good phones? And they're like, yeah, go for it. Like, you, you can definitely sell any type of phone um, as long as that's good ESN and everything like that. So that is still a majority of my business, and that's where I take pride in is a good eBay business model. But obviously, some of you might say bad ESN aren't like the most like, like moral thing to sell. Um, but to be honest, like I'm not gonna get into that right now, and I've had conversations where people get pretty heated about that. But that's honestly, the last thing I'm saying about that, it is all basically seller preference but um, if we're getting the bill of sale on a lot of these items there is um, the like I ended up asking them can if I have like a legal document shows they're transferring ownership of the phone they still said no because they're they don't know if they ended up selling stealing a phone that um, they're just selling me stolen property and then I have stolen property and then if something legal happens eBay could be intervening or have a part in that being able to allow me to sell those items so I totally understand where that comes from but I'll be honest with you guys I've been selling bad ESNs for over a year for like about just coming up on a year here now so I honestly wouldn't worry but I ended up talking to my private buyer and I said who actually sells these and he literally just told me that basically you the people that they allow to get away with this are those power sellers. So the people that are really selling, like if you know the reviews on there, people that have over a thousand reviews, and he, like when you think about that, that's almost impossible. These are the guys that have been on there since 2005, 2010 just like many years so like it, it's almost impossible to get to that number um, those are the, and I literally and never even ended up looking at it but those are the people that are always selling those bad ESN phones on eBay so I, I'm not gonna tell you guys not to go sell them on eBay because it is a platform you can use especially if you're getting that bill of sale the phone isn't reported stolen or anything like that it was just finance like whatever it may be um, like go ahead and sell it on eBay and for me 
that is why I'm like I talked about Mercari Day. I have no problem selling them on Mercari. Um, they allow those phones to be sold there, so like I I'm gonna keep selling those on there as well as sell some good phones on there. But I'm just slowly increasing my numbers on there, kind of gaining traction. So like overall, I hope you guys like kind of recognize like that that is the situation. It's business. I can't really do much about it, but I've been kind of down a lot lately or for the past two weeks. You probably haven't seen too much enthusiasm just because like my numbers haven't been there. And I'll be honest with you guys, I am not going to hit my $5,000 mark this month just because I was holding inventory for so long. I didn't even know I could sell these on Mercari, but literally today I sold three alone. So that inventory should be flowing through pretty fast. But my $5,000 mark, those extra like um, numbers. I'll show you what my numbers here are in a couple of days. Well, those extra numbers should be transferring over to next month. So what my next month numbers are should take into account the loss that I had this month. So that is kind of the game plan. But obviously, I'm uh, I'm working on other stuff too. I have my other businesses as well as just kind of promoting that course, kind of consistently growing my brand. So that obviously is taking up a lot of my time. Phone flipping is honestly kind of like a 60, 70 percent for me right now. So honestly, I just hope you guys like enjoy the transparency. If you did, uh, just let me know in the comment sections if you have any words you'd like to say. Let me know. Have a conversation down below. But if you made it to this far in the video, I definitely appreciate you. And if you haven't liked the video yet, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that little subscription button down below. With that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.